got some good news for the Atlanta Braves. The uh, Milwaukee Brewers have traded their shortstop Orlando Arcia to the Atlanta Braves, which, to be honest, Mario, I kind of like what's going on here, you know? Uh, Orlando Arcia is known for being versatile, so he could play other positions in the infield. Uh, the Braves do have Ozzy Alves, who's their uh, sh uh, shortstop. Um, so he could play other positions in the in the um in the infield, more specifically second base. Um, uh, as for his six major league seasons, uh, he has a career of uh two. He has a two forty four career batting average with forty two homers. So he's not really known for hitting home runs. Uh, but he also has one hundred and eighty ribbies and thirty nine stolen bases. Uh, and he and he signed a one year two million dollar deal with the Brewers back in December. Um. So, yeah, Mario, you know, uh, Orlando RC is coming to help out the Atlanta Braves because the Braves aren't having a good start. They just won their first game today. You know, well, they, they won their game before we started this. um, And I think they're 1-5, I think. Something like that. But anyway, before I give it on to you, Mario, I, I, think, I think this is something that will help out the Braves moving forward. So, with that being said, I'll, give, I'll pass it on to you, Mario. Well, first of all, you know, I wish Orlando uh, the best of luck. Yeah, first of all, Nate, um, I like this a little bit better than the Yankees one. And they do, and don't get me wrong, the Braves do have a good shortstop. But, again, he's a versatile. He's a versatile infielder, which means he can play all around that infield. So I'd kind of expect this dude to be like a utility, to be a very good utility player for this team. You know, he comes in when they need him to. He might not start every game, but utility players are very important in this league. They're the guys that not many people look at. But like when you, but there are undoubtedly some of the most important people on that team. Like for us, for example, remember we had Eduardo Nunez. I considered him our utility player because he did such a good job at um, whatever his job was going to be. Um, Anthony Rendon did a very good job for the uh, Nationals. Am I correct? When they won that World Series. Yeah, yeah. Right. So utility players are important, which is I, which is what I could see Orlando RC uh, becoming. Um. Like you say, his stats aren't really like eye popping. You know, there's nothing really like that we can point to, but I definitely can can see him becoming a good utility player. But the Atlanta Braves, it's kind of hard. It's it's kind of like surprising to see them on this kind of stint, you know, especially with the great players that they have. It's kind of hard to see them uh, going through this type of stint. I mean, when you really look at them, Ozuna, uh, Ron Acuna, Freddie Freeman, Dansby Swan uh, Swanson, Ian Anderson, uh, Ozzy Alves. Charlie Morton, like they have a Max good squad, Robo, Nate. Max Fried. Right. Bobby they got a good Jim squad. Moore. So like it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to believe that they go that there are that they're already in the beginning of the season. They're only they probably only have like one win, you know? It's kind of like it's it's unfortunate to see. But I mean, hopefully adding Garcia to the squad, hopefully that can definitely help. Uh right now they're one and four. So and they're playing right now, and it's the it's the bottom of the sixth and um, it's the game's tied at zero zero against. Yeah, the they were playing a double header today. They they won their first. They won okay, the first okay. double header game. So that so. Makes sense. so, yeah, I mean that's why I can definitely. Uh, that's the kind of role I see RC having is becoming a good utility player. Maybe he takes a base. Maybe he plays like the ending of games. Maybe he just plays in the ninth in the ninth uh, spot every game. But having a versatile infielder could definitely help you, Nate. You know, because you because when you really look at a baseball field. Start with the outfield first, right? You have three players in the outfield. The infield's got four. The infield, as well, besides the pitcher, obviously, the infield has the most players in it, you know? It's got the first baseman, the third baseman, the second baseman, and the shortstop. The pitcher's obviously at five, but, you know, pitchers, there's only one position that can play pitcher. So adding Garcia could definitely help. You know, he could play shortstop. He could play second base. Maybe if you need him to play third, he'll play third. Maybe if you need him to play first – He'll play first. So that's why I think this is a good good addition to the Atlanta Braves. So I mean with that being said, I wish the Atlanta Braves the best of luck and I wish our and I wish Arcia as well the best of luck. And I'm curious to see how this is gonna play out. Yeah, uh congratulations to Orlando Arcia for signing with the Atlanta Braves. Uh hopefully he can help out the Braves, you know, get back on track. Now here's the good thing about this, okay? Unlike the NBA, the NHL, and the NFL, you know, I know the uh, NBA and NHL play 82 games. The NFL, you only play, you know, now 17 games. In the MLB, you play 162 games. This is the fifth game out of the 162. You have more than enough time to get a turnaround. Obviously, I'm not telling you wait last minute and figure it out. No, because at that point, you just lost your chance. But you have, if I'm doing my math correctly, 
you have 157 games after this, you have 157 games left after this. So there's time to still kind of turn around. You know what I mean? It's just I, we're only five games in the season. Anything can happen, you know, moving forward. But that's that's the benefit of being a, uh, an, a major league baseball team. You play so many damn games a year that, you know, if you have a slow start, you still have time to turn things around. You know what I mean? Unlike the NBA and the NHL where you play 82 games, you kind of need to stay on par. And in the NFL, you basically, you're basically basically either good or you're bad. It's as simple as that. You know, the, the NFL, you, you know, you either really good or you just really suck. But in the MLB, you know, the Braves still have time, you know. It's never – it's not too late unless if you wait till July and, yeah, that's that's bad. But it's not July. It's April. It's the beginning of April. Still got a lot of time to figure it out. So, with that being said, you know, Orlando Arcia is a good infielder. As for hitting, it's something really flashy. Um, So, hopefully he can help out – you know, hopefully he can improve uh, with his bat, you know, help out the Atlanta Braves with their bats. Um. As for the infielding part of it, I've seen this kid play some baseball. He's really, really good infielder. He reminds me of Jackie Bradley. He's a really, really good fielder, but his hitting just isn't so spectacular, you know. He reminds me of one of those players. But with that being said, uh, best of luck to Orlando Arcia in uh, Atlanta. Uh, best of luck to the Atlanta Braves moving forward. Uh, I'm pretty curious to see how this goes.